We'll look at just a little bit at the political situation in the Ozarks, which is really interesting, uh, especially here in the 21st century, as the Ozarks seems to be getting more and more Republican. I don't know that we're getting more and more conservative. Uh, you might say we've always been conservative, but our Republicanism is starting to catch up with our conservatism in many ways. And uh, now I left Arkansas off this map, or I didn't fill in any of the Arkansas counties, and I'll explain what the, the colors are in a minute, uh, because Arkansas doesn't make it nearly as easy to find out what political affiliation local county elected officials are. Uh, for Missouri, that's e very easy to find that information out, and I looked and I looked and I looked uh, and all over the Internet, and I just couldn't find a good place to gather that information for, for Arkansas. But what these colors are, and I did this back the first time that I taught this class two years ago, back in the spring of 2011, the 2010 midterm election had just happened. And what I did was I went in and I looked at the county officials, uh, county clerk and treasurer and commissioners and all that kind of stuff for, for all of the Missouri Ozarks counties and looked at the political affiliation, what political party they were from, the ones who had got elected. And the red counties are the ones that were solidly Republican. And as you would expect, southwest Missouri, uh, solidly Republican for generations here in southwest Missouri. Uh, the blue ones were solidly Democratic or Dem Democratic Party. And the green ones were the ones who were pretty evenly split between Democrats and Republicans in local offices. Now, I didn't go by presidential elections or, or anything like that. If I had a presidential election map, practically the entire Ozarks would be red because for years and years, the Ozarks has been voting for Republican presidential candidates even at the same time that many places in the Ozarks still elect local Democratic Party candidates to local uh, county offices. And, and so it's a pretty good, a pretty good indication of this, the political situation in the Ozarks for the last few generations where you had solidly red southwest Missouri, mostly blue southeast Missouri, and then this kind of middle ground in between where there was a two-party system on the local level for up until recently and for the most part most of North Arkansas would still be blue on the county level uh, for instance the, the county uh, that I grew up in still has uh, all uh, Democrats in, in local county elected offices though the county votes overwhelmingly Republican in presidential elections and probably even in state elections for like U.S. Senator and, and stuff like that. Uh, so often voting patterns don't always make sense in that way. Voting for local candidates in the minds of many people in the Ozarks is a very different thing than voting for national candidates, especially in these blue county areas because most of these places would have voted uh, firmly against Barack Obama last fall at the same time that they're electing Democratic Party members to, to local offices. And my friend who lives in Jefferson City uh, refers to this as the Highway 63 divide, the political divide in the Ozarks. I think I've got the right highway. 63 is the one that goes through Houston and up to Rolla, right? Yeah. And yeah, it comes down, 63 comes down through here. And, and he always, before, even before I actually sat down and made the map, he used to talk about the Highway 63 divide. To the west, you have Republican territory. To the east, you have Democratic territory in Missouri. And it's pretty, you know, it's pretty accurate. In recent years, what you've seen, and, and uh, I need to, to go back and look after last fall's election. I need to update this map. Uh, and see if any of these blue counties have become greener or maybe even red. 
because there's been really a resurgence of republicanism, even in traditionally democratic areas of the Ozarks. And uh, one of the things that happened just this past fall is for the first time since Reconstruction, right after the Civil War, uh, the state of Arkansas went red, uh, meaning that a majority of the members to the state House of Representatives and the state Senate in, in the state of Arkansas are now Republicans. First time in way over 100 years that that's happened. And uh, so the, uh, you know, Missouri is still very red, Arkansas becoming redder. And of course, some of our most prominent politicians on the national scene in recent years have been Republicans. Uh, the prominent po politicians from the Ozarks, uh, like John Ashcroft. He was the Attorney General under, uh, I think, in the first administration of George W. Bush and uh, has connections here in Springfield. Ashcroft, uh, rep uh, conservative Republican. His uh, father, I believe, was the president of Evangel College. Is that right? And Yeah, there, uh, I know he's uh, uh, an assembly of, assembly of God connection strong connection to the Assembly of God Church, but John Ashcroft, very prominent. Uh, uh, Tim Hutchinson, most of you don't remember Tim Hutchinson, but he was the first Republican U.S. Senator elected from Arkansas after Reconstruction. He was elected back, uh, back in the 90s and uh, was defeated after one term in office, but not necessarily because of his party. I think he was, had some personal issues. Uh, you know, women issues that politicians tend to stumble into that kind of stuff. Right. Uh, and Roy Blunt, of course, he's back in uh, office now. He's uh, in, in the Senate. Uh, and, and Roy Blunt is from here in southwest Missouri. And uh, I think has a master's degree from Missouri State. There are basically, not counting Oklahoma, and I hate to keep leaving Oklahoma out of this, but... Uh, I haven't been counting them half the semester, so why start now, right? The, uh, not counting uh, Northeast Oklahoma, which I'm not sure what congressional district that falls into, but there are basically five representatives in, in Congress who represent part, all or parts of the Ozarks, uh, three in Missouri and two in Arkansas. And in Missouri, you've got uh, District 4 comes down from almost Kansas City and then gets uh, tour, it comes out all the way down to Webster County, District 4 does. Most of Webster County is in District 4 uh, right. and a couple other Ozark counties. And then you got District 7, which is where we are here in Southwest Missouri. And District 8 is, covers uh, all of Southeast Missouri and, and South Central Missouri, uh, both the Boot Hill and the Ozarks part. And then uh, in Arkansas, you got District 3, which is Northwest Arkansas and Western Arkansas. And District 1 covers uh, the rest of the Arkansas Ozarks and then a lot of the Delta. And all five of those representatives today are Republicans. So all, so all of the uh, congressmen and women representing the Ozarks today in the House of Representatives are Republicans. You've got uh, Vicki Hartzler from District 4, uh, Billy Long uh, from here in District 7, Joanne Emerson just resigned uh, earlier this year from District 8. She had been in office there for years and, and years, and she resigned to take, a, to take a national job, and they're actually having the special election to replace her next month, about a month from now. Uh, a Republican will probably win that election, but I don't know that for sure. And then in Arkansas, you've got Steve Womack in the Northwest and Rick Crawford in the Northeast, and both of those are newly elected Republican officers. As a matter of fact, Rick Crawford, who uh, is the representative for my home county down in Arkansas, is the first Republican elected to that office since Reconstruction uh, to, that, to that district's uh, office. So quite a, you know, quite a story of the Republicanization of the Ozarks in recent years where the influence of Southwest Missouri, which traditionally has been the strongest uh, uh, Republican part of the Ozarks, 
seems to have kind of spread out to the, to the rest of the Ozarks. But one of these days I'll get the, the entire map color-coded when Arkansas cooperates and lets people get to their statistics without calling each county courthouse to find out what your officers are. 